How many of you have been funded once, twice, three, four, five times? You are in a vicious cycle of continuously um, purchasing evaluations uh, through prop firms. And maybe you're using Top Step or, or Apex or My Funded Futures or the other variety of different prop firm organizations or businesses out there because you are trying to pass them to gain access to or pass these challenges to gain access to uh, funds in which you can become um, profitable or to lead you on the road to become profitable and take a withdrawal zone, okay? If that is you and you're still struggling, it's like you you pass an evaluation, but it, then you lose it. You pass evaluation, then you lose it. Drop a comment down below, all right? It's a vicious cycle that I see is going on in this industry or this business. Now, you have to understand one thing for sure. Um, the prop firm organizations more so want you to fail than actually succeed in a sense, if that kind of makes sense. They make money on both ends depending on the company um, and, and how they have their business uh, structure set up. But they make majority of their money off of you going through the cycle of losing and then having to repurchase and then having to go to resets and then having to maybe you have to uh, you know pay for uh, once you pass the evaluation, you have to pay for uh, access or a gateway to be able to just start having a funded account, whatever that fee may be. Uh, that's how they're making their money ultimately in the end. But my video today and this topic, I want to talk about the emotions that a lot of people feel in reference to blowing their accounts multiple times. Now, I've been trading for over 13 years now, and I will say this, um, unlike what I see happening today, I wasn't in that vicious cycle. Prop firms didn't exist then, and even if they did, one or two popped up or whatever the case is, I wasn't privy to them, if, if probably a lot of traders weren't at all. So I didn't have access to, uh, not going to say capital, because you're not giving the actual money like it's your cash that you're actually uh, putting into your own account. Um, so I had to save money up and then start my, 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 my trading. Now, I wasn't ridiculously, you know, or any stupid man or uh, crazy enough to start dropping, you know, big sums of money into my account. Not even buy a few thousand dollars. I, I, I started with a, a very minimal amount of money, okay, because I, I wanted to test the markets and it was, you know, a couple hundred dollars. Um, and, but what I found out was that I would win some and then lose some. And it was like, I was up and down. I didn't ever blow the small account that I started with, but, uh, about into week two or three, I stopped. It may have been a month, but I stopped because I started noticing the fact is, is that I wasn't consistent. All right. And my struggle with that was what I'm trying to say was because I didn't understand how to read the market. And it all leads back to. The beginning, if I go back to 13 years ago, was my struggle with market structure. So please, I'm telling everyone who's watching this video today, um, please understand and master that concept because it's going to make the difference of you succeeding. I say this again, in this business or failing. If you are blowing multiple accounts, maybe you need to stop while you're ahead and figure out what it is that you're not doing correct. You might have a strategy down right, but maybe you're taking the wrong setups. Maybe they're, they're not you know, the best high probability areas to trade from. And, you know, you guys are probably coming from different avenues. You know, I trade range-based charts. You may trade time-based charts or volume or tick. So our setups, meaning the zones in which we're looking to trade uh, from, especially if you trade supply and demand, because that's what I trade, uh, may not look the same. You know, my setup on a range chart may not be, it may not be a setup on a five-minute chart, okay, or or 15-minute chart or a 30-minute chart, whatever it may be. Um, and range charts are not comparable. I'm going to tell you now to time base. So please stop asking that question because they're not because they're, they're calculated differently. All chart types are calculated different. Ticks are calculated different in ranges. Ranges are calculated different in volume. Volume is calculated different in time. So understand that first and foremost. There is no nothing to where one's going to sink or mirror up to the other. Understand. Um, but outside of that, as far as blowing your accounts multiple times, if you start it and you think that you have got things down a pat, and then you start to trade, you know, open up an evaluation account, start trading, you blow one. That's where I was at. I'm the type of person to, if it doesn't work for me, immediately I'm stopping right then and there. I'm not going to keep throwing money into the pot to see, you know, can I pass it, can I pass it? Because you got to think about it. In long term, long, long term uh, what's going to happen is that if you, say for example, you purchase your first evaluation and you pass that challenge, 
and then a month later you blow that or within the first week you blow that blow that blow that account you're back to square one stop right then and there because if you have passed that evaluation right at the gate you should be consistent trading and then making money going forward each and every single day all right i mean that's 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 the nature of it because the biggest part it's a twofold situation here understanding market structure and knowing which zones to take trades from all right not every trade is going to work out so you have to understand that what i'm trying to say next is is the part of risk management knowing how much to leverage knowing when to exit a trade to get out early enough you know people are so concerned about i've said this about win rates all right and about uh, you know losses you see it all over the internet in a sense okay people are so well, well you know um uh in, in, in reference to uh people's losing trades versus the winning trades it's about management okay i can't show you i can show you and i've done it in many videos about uh stop loss placement where to get out the trade it how to protect your trade uh how to exit the trades quick enough so you're preserving capital because that's what it is all about at the end of the day but the matter in which you control your own trades and meaning all leading back to your own psyche, I can't I can't teach anyone that. I can I can let them know, but I can't take my mind and put it in someone else. It all starts with yourself. It starts up here. How are you controlling things, you know? Um, because you can quickly blow an account if you hold on to a trade that you know you you should be cutting ahead of time to get out of the trade to preserve your capital. It doesn't matter if you're trading with your own funds or you're trading, you know, once you're passing evaluation, you have to treat it the same. Even if you're trading in simulation and demo, say for example, um, you have to treat it just the same as you're trading with your own funds live, okay, or through uh, you know these one of these prop firm organizations out here. So I know that people are going through a cycle. It's like you're having a high one moment and then you're back down the next moment trying to um, undo or break that vicious cycle uh, of the feeling of ups and down, ups and downs. It's, you know, it's this roller coaster effect so that you can be on an even playing field to where you can cons consistently make money. Again, you have to stop. If you are spending money, you know, left and right, blowing and then uh, resetting, blowing and resetting these accounts, the trading accounts, then you need to stop while you're ahead and figure out what it is. All right. Stop throwing money into, you know, uh, something that's never ending. Why are you going to continue wasting and blowing your hard earned earn money that way? Because this you is something that you're doing incorrect. It ain't the strategy because if you know the strategy works, you have to identify, am I really able to understand the market? Am I not patient enough? That's the key to, too. I'll sit back and have to wait hours for sometimes or, or, uh, for a, a, a setup to unfold. It may not unfold to the next day sometimes, you know? Sometimes they happen back to back. If it's not there, the key to everything is don't force the trade, is what I'm trying to tell you ultimately. Most people, once they blow an evaluation, okay, or their first account, they immediately say, okay, well, they'll take a couple of days off, a week off, then they go back to the drawing board again, replenish the account, or uh, go back and do a reset on their prop firm account, okay, to try to pass another valuation, and then they get back into the same thing again. The feeling is never ending. You have to work out what's going on and what you can identify. That's where you need to go back and start back testing and start identifying what is it that you're not doing correct. All right. The only way you're going to ex escape any emotions that you're actually feeling behind losing money, and I know a lot of people think that, well, I'm only spending a hundred bucks here and there. And, and, and these recess or trying to open up a, or pass another evaluation versus putting in, you know, uh, a couple thousand dollars and losing all that money. Now, I never did that. All right. I'm telling you that right now. I've, I'm the type of person that if, if I, if I notice that right off the cuff that I'm not doing something correct, I'll stop and figure it out. And then I'll spend time methodically breaking it apart to identify what it is. Okay. I'm telling you, then I'll go back to the drawing board and give it another test, but I won't be all in. I never went all in into trading, meaning started bumping up lot sizes until uh, until I really started, until I knew 100% that I was on the right path and that led to the outcome of that was because I was consistent. You know, trade after trade after trade, all right? Knowing when to cut my trades, preserving my capital. That's the that's what you need to really figure out is that what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. It could be a multiple of things, all right? It could be like I said, you don't know the strategy 100% that you're actually trading, okay? Uh it could be because you don't understand market structure. It could be just because you are just not 
Maybe transparent with yourself and say, saying that I'm not ready, but you're trying to force things to happen because you're in the mode of, I need money now. Please don't do that. The money will come once you have become, once you figure out how to become successful. Are you following your trading plan? Do you even have a trading plan? All right. Don't fall into the depths and allowing your emotions to sink you down. Because then that's when people start to think that this is never going to work out. Trading is a scam. It's not a scam. It's a real business that you have to educate yourself on. The same way when you went to school, received an education, went on to get your degree, landed a good job and making good money. Or for those that just came out and got, you know, learn a trade and then they follow that skill set and they're making money now. It's the same thing. You have to educate yourself. All right. Uh, before you can become great in, in this business, it's, it's a lot of people get into this field and they think that, that that it's just turnkey. I put money in. Boom. I start taking money out. Nope. I'm telling you, this has been one of the hardest things I've had to um, conquer in life. OK, because we don't control the markets and we have to understand that it's kind of like the game of Pac-Man in a sense. We are what's being attacked. OK, there's liquidity rested all over the the, the, the charts we see and, and, and they're going after it. They're going after us, okay? They can see our positions. They're going after us. So we have to think logical about where great positions, or I mean, great setups rest at so we can trade with the the hires that be, okay? Okay? Those that are actually uh, uh, creating the game for us to play. We got to play right along with them, all right? We have to know the script in which they're writing to be able to uh, uh, take great setups. So understand what I'm trying to say here, guys. Do not allow or fall into the vicious cycle of just you know uh throwing money into the pot and just just constantly constantly um you know losing one trade i mean not one trade but blowing one count after another because all you're going to do is give up in the end because you're going to think that it's not possible when someone else is going to continue showing you it's possible it's possible but you've got to understand what you're doing wrong one person can't help you fix that you got to sit back you know, break things down like I did and identify what it is that you're not doing correct. It took me time. It took me two years before I really was, um, you know, started to become consistent and, su and successful in doing so. But it was all baby steps. It did not happen turnkey. And this is the reason why I created this video content because I want to see people. I don't want people to go through the same thing that I went through and struggling trying to get to where I want to be. I never gave up. Okay. I kept pushing and pushing, but I was smart about how I attacked it, and that was not throwing money continuously into the pot. I kept going back to the table, testing, 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 reevaluating what I was doing wrong, back testing, forward testing, all in sim and demo when I was doing that 13 plus years ago. Okay. Then when I ironed out all the kinks, I knew I was ready. Okay. So this is the reason why I make this video content is to kind of circumvent the uh, system for you guys in a sense so that you understand. You know, I'm not telling anyone to trade like me, but I'm just throwing it out there that if you practice the strategy, if you wait patient for the right setups, okay, and stop being impatient and taking everything that looks like a supply or demand setup, I have shown over, I'll say a million times, but it feels like I've over a million times, how I am consistent and profitable in doing this um, each and every day, all right? Some days, if the setup's not there, I'm not forcing it. I'll wait. Okay, it's not about I need to make ten thousand dollars at the end of the week, or that I need to make a thousand dollars today. I'm taking what the market can give me, but I first have to wait for it to show me what it wants to give me, and taking my action based upon, you know, the rejections and the confirmations and the strategy and how I trade. So spend some time on the chart. Spend some time watching the video content. All right, pen to pad, take notes. All right. So outside of that, that's all I have today, guys. I just want to share that with you because I know it's the, it, it, these emotions that you may be going through. If you're blowing accounts, uh, lots of you probably jumping from, from one prop firm to the next prop firm, from one strategy, strategy to the next. Look, all you're doing is confusing yourself more and more and more and more in doing so. Stick with something. Stick with something and see it through. Okay? If the strategy in which I talk about doesn't work for you, then jump ship. But if you are going online and looking for something, one strategy, you learn it and then you unlearn it and then you go over here and you learn it and unlearn it. At some point, if you see that you learn two or three or four different strategies, okay, and you see that that you are successful one moment, then not successful. You can you got to realize at some point and say, well, I learned four different things. It's 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 none of them work and start pointing the fingers back at the person or in the, you got to understand that it's more likely as you. Because there's something that you're missing 
All four of those strategies could work just perfectly, but you got to figure it out. Or three, and three of them could work perfectly, and one doesn't. You got to figure out what it is. You have to really figure it out. Okay, but that's all I want to share with you guys today. I wish everyone a a wonderful and, and, and joyous weekend. Hope everyone has a safe one and just as well. If you're a first time viewer here in the channel and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please take the time to go ahead and sub by clicking on the subscribe button down below. Make sure to turn your post notifications on so you don't miss any any other uploads here on the channel. If you're interested in joining the Discord, the link is down in the description portion of the video. Right below that, there's a link that's that's titled "Become an Elite Member" for all those that are looking. To gain access to the private group community, it's only $6.99, but that's where I go into trade breakdowns. While I'm breaking the strategy down, trade after trade, so that you understand the trades that I've actually taken, you can understand why I took the trade, because I go into explanation about that, as to where I place my stop losses, where I place the uh, profit targets, and just walking you through the strategy for each one of those setups. There's tons of them there. Also, you get the video playlist and the... um Great video that I cover in market structure. If that's something you're struggling with, all right, with market structure. But leave me a comment in the comment section. I like to hear from those individuals. Um, are you successful now? Like if you're actually trading with prop firms, say for example, how many times have you actually blown your account before you got it right? Was it once? Was it twice? Are you still caught up in that vicious cycle? All right. And then if you're trading with your live funds, how many times have you actually blown your own personal account? Uh, trading with your own money. I like to hear from you guys. There's, there's, there's no reason to be shameful about it. Okay. Um, it, it only helps when you can identify and basically look at yourself in the mirror and say, Yeah, I just know this three times already and I'm blown it three times. I need to fix something. So you got to, it's one of those things where you got to think and talk out loud to hear what you're saying, to recognize those mistakes so you can correct them. All right. Outside of that, that's all I have today. If you found value in today's video, guys, I appreciate it. If you hit the like button, that thumbs up button. I'll see everyone in the next one. Take care. Goodbye.